Hey guys, it's uh, Nate from Man Cave Arcade. Just uh, showing you guys a demo of our highly anticipated virtual pinball machine. I'm going to be going through uh, four t different types of gameplay which is included in here. One is your what you see right now is a classic pinball which is around 100 or so games right now. Uh, second, we're going through upright arcade games, you know, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Galaga, uh, th things like that. Thirdly, we're going to be doing the newer pinball which is called Pinball FX2 which showcases really high intensified 3D pinball newer generation games such as The Walking Dead, uh, Marvel, uh, things of that nature. And then lastly, the fourth one is we're going to be showing Hyperspin which can play over about 10 or so consoles, give or take 10,000 plus games and we'll be displaying that on the 32 inch back screen right now. Mind you, this monitor just for testing purposes is roughly about a 28 inch but the actual system will come with a 32 inch. Alright guys, enough of me, let's start. I'll just go through them all right now and we can go from there. So right now we're starting off with the classic arcade, uh, sorry, the classic pinball games right now. So I'll show you right now. As you can see, the graphics are really good for just the classic arcade, uh, the classic pinball games, I mean. Um, so we'll get out of here right now. I just want to show you a couple of these. So it's, it's all a press of one button. As you see, we're using an actual joystick to emulate everything. Um, we'll go through another one. We'll go through, it's one of my favorite ones, Ghostbusters. I love the sound effects on this one, so. It's really realistic for what it is. Um, graphics are still really highly intense for, I guess you can say 2D kind of graphics. So here's the, the ghost bus. We'll do, uh, I guess we'll do one more, just for the sake of doing it, just to show you guys. Oh, a green ball. That's new. I never had a green ball before. It's pretty cool. Anyways. As you can see, the system just put on boxes right now. We're actually in the middle of making the system. So uh, it'll be done in the new year. I think earlier, mid-January. Uh, last game I will show you. Uh, Medieval Mass is really cool. Spare Stiff is really cool as well. We'll do this one as well. Are you ready to play? I don't want to know what's in there. So as you can see, it's really smooth gameplay. The computer I'm using right now is an i3, but I'll be upgrading that to a, to an i5 actually, so that should be even cleaner. Um, yeah, uh, we'll go to the next one right now, actually. Actually, we'll do one more. Let's see if the actual... Let's see if I can get the spider to, to shake a little bit. Oh, I think it's doing something. There it is. There's the spider. Use the flippers to stop, all right? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It really makes uh, the user... Uh, really user interactive here, so it's pretty cool. Okay, anyways, we'll get out of this. Uh, the next one we'll be doing is uh, what I mentioned was the Upright Arcade Classics. Uh, it's really cool. You gotta go to all tables. Uh, you can show on the back screen there. Yeah, perfect. It's called Name Tables. So, for example, uh, I think 1943 is pretty cool. So, with the Switch, I also have the uh, the marquee set up on the on the back glass just for now. I gotta figure out how to put another image in the background if you like, but it's pretty cool, something a little added bonus. I think this it's the complete, I think it's about over a thousand games or something like that that can be played uh, with the arcade stuff. I'll just show you this really quickly. 
as you can see it's really smooth um, a lot of people don't have the option to play these games in actually upright uh, vertical screen so it, this is actually one of the first times I've been playing this on vertical and it makes a huge difference rather than playing it on a you know on, on a landscape kind of you know 32 inch or even 40 inch landscape uh, monitor this this is the way the game should be played all right we got out of this I'll do uh, I think I'll do one more just to show you guys really quick uh, let's see we'll do Donkey Kong somewhere here so you're just going through a thousand something games, so there's going to be. I think we're coming up. Here we go. Donkey Kong. This one's good. So I can see enough. No image, nothing is stretched. Uh, it's all proportioned. That's just the way we've actually emulated it, uh, where it can play as well. Yeah. So you get the picture. <laughs> We'll try to do one more, which is Pac-Man. Um, try to go through this really quick. It's Miss Pac-Man's the most common one people use. Let's see if I can get it quickly. There it is. Just show you guys this really quickly, just to take a look at uh, how, how it looks like. There we go. All right, well there you have it. These are the sample upright arcade machines only. I only showed you about three, but it can play over, um, over a thousand, something, something like that. So now we're gonna go to the really highly anticipated uh, 3D Pinball FX, which to me is more or less a uh, game changer. Uh, I'll show you guys that right now. Go back here. So it's called Pinball FX Tables. Um, let's go to the most common one, uh, The Walking Dead, for example. So right now we're still using the same interface for everything. So right now we've done the classic arcade. Um, The regular pinball and then now the pinball FX right now. I'll put the volume up a little. You can see it's really highly 3D graphics. Let's do this. Have I missed anything? Get out of this in a second here. Oh, cool. Anyways, I think these are really cool. It shows you like a whole gameplay storyline. That's this is where this, the FX is really different. But anyways, we'll get out of this one. We'll do another one. Uh, let's do one more. I think there was a. Uh, Let's see, I think Thor is really cool. So it always gives you a quick uh, display of the actual playing field, creating an idea. It's a really cool feature. Welcome to Asgard. Never fall. Back 
to the slime from whence you came, beast. Oh, that's really cool. All right, let's get out of this. I'll see if there's one more. If not, we'll go strictly into hyperspin. Let's see if there's anything that stands out here. There's a Vader one. This one's really cool. I'll just show this one really quickly. A lot of people like this one. As mentioned before, there's about 70 something games in here right now, so I just showed you a couple here. But you guys get the picture. Alright, now we'll do the hyper spin, which is really cool. It's a little feature here. So now you can see we've disabled the playing field, and now we're using the actual back class to play. So here you can actually play all your, uh, you know, if you have it all programmed, your Nintendo, Super Nintendo, main, arcade. Uh, we'll go to one of my favorites here. So now if you want to play an actual Street Fighter game or combat or like that, you can actually enjoy it on the back screen, which will be a 32-inch uh, TV. So here you go. All right. Well, you guys get the picture. You can also pause it as well. It's pretty. Obviously, it's a two-player joystick, so you can actually have two players playing. Alright. Alright, guys, well, that's what it is in a nutshell. There you go. As mentioned before, it can play whatever games you guys want to program in there. Uh, I think it's over 10 something consoles it can play. And there you have it. Uh, this is a quick thing. It's about... 80-90% program ready to go. Um, we should, as I said before, we should be up and ready by uh, middle of January next year. Within about a month or so. We've just recently launched a pre-order on a website as well. Just to let you guys know what you'll be getting. And yeah, so we're anticipating a lot of excitement on this. So um, yeah, any questions, feel free to check our website. Uh, www.mancavearcade.ca Or you could email us at info at mancave arcade.ca as well. All right, guys. Thanks for the video. Bye for now.